This week I was trying to think of something else to do and I thought, man, I'm gonna do something, try to make it simpler. I texted you guys about some ideas and some of you texted me back and I'm gonna put one at the end. Uh, one of your ideas give you a chance to redeem yourself. Those of you that missed out on the Bible trivia a couple weeks ago. So I have two parts. I got a short little message and then I do have you a little game, give you a chance to uh, earn you a, a reward. So. Uh, but anyway, like I said, this week uh, it was, I was, my mind was going. I was like, man, do I, I'm, I'm going to make a video or I'm going to send them something real short or, uh, you know, even my mind comes across, well, maybe I'll just take a week off. Um, but uh, I came across something and I mean, I'm going to be super short, okay? So I came across something. It's not original thought, but I'll share something with you. If you're looking for something to encourage your daily Bible reading um, to make it easier, uh, something that gives you a lot of depth and gives you great information and encouragement. Uh, this little book right here, okay? It is My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. It has daily devotions all through the year, right? Keep you a bookmark in there on the day. It's got the dates on there. Never gets old, okay? I've had one of these for a long time. And this one right here that I made some notes in, uh, this is not my original thought, so I'm going to ahead and putting that out there. But this was from May the 19th, okay? So I want to talk about a few points real quick, and then I'm done, all right? Like I said, it's been getting, it gets, it's got, gotten tougher to make these videos uh, because I think, you know, you're just ready to get back to normal, and, you know, you start questioning whether it's important to do it or if somebody's watching it or so-and-so. Uh, these thoughts just come in your mind. So this thought uh, from May the 19th, I thought uh, it goes with uh, the time right now. It goes with any time, but... Uh, the title of this one was Out of the Wreck I Rise, and the verse is in Romans 8 and 35. There's a key verse with each one of these devotions, and the key verse says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? You know, uh, some people during this time have a more trying time uh, with this COVID that we're experiencing right now. People have more trying time. Other people, not very trying to them, okay? But we have trying times in our life, uh, no doubt. And man is not, man mean man, woman, boy, or girl, we're not immune from trouble, okay? I, I dare say that uh, there's many times in our life that we go through and that we just don't have something that's bogging us down, weighing us down spiritually, physically, you know, emotionally, we have troubles, okay? But there's one thing that's constant, okay, along with troubles. You're going to always have troubles in this life. You're going to have things that come at you, try to bring you down. But there's something that's even more constant than that, and that is God's love, uh, God's love will never leave us. He'll never forsake us. He's gave us that promise. And I want to talk to you about that. You look back in Psalms, he quotes here, Psalms 91, 15. Uh, the writer, the psalmist David, talks about how God never forsakes us in our troubles. Uh, and and Paul, we talked about Paul. We started talking about Paul before we had to enter, end our Wednesday night meetings. Uh, Paul, the great apostle Paul that wrote a chunk of the New Testament, he says that we are more than conquerors. In Romans 8, uh, 37, if I can read my handwriting there, that, that might be a 37. I wrote this a while ago. Uh, in Romans chapter 8, Paul talks about us being more than conquerors. So uh, no matter the troubles that come at us, we know if we look in God's word that we have already conquered it. Now, by man's eyes, we may not, uh, we may not look like conquerors, but we are. Okay, we are conquerors, and Christ has told us that. So the first thing, uh, the first point, uh, shall tribulation keep us from the love of Christ? And the answer is no. No matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad the world looks or how bad your surroundings look, you can always go back to that constant that Jesus loves you and I. Uh, no matter how bad we mess up, and we're going to mess up. You may be messing up right now. You may be in a point, you know, you're in a bad situation or down the road you're going to be in a bad situation, but there's something that you can always remember that God still loves you. There's not anything that we can do as humans to separate us from the love of Christ. Uh, the second thing, shall anguish or, you know, um, shall distress when things start to fall apart in our lives. Um, the world tells you that, that God's love is a lie, okay? Uh, people in the world tell you that there's no such thing. The atheists say there's no such thing. Um, people that will want to rely on what we can do as human beings, they will tell you that there's no such thing as God's love, and it's all a big lie. Yet they can't explain things that happen spiritually. There's never an answer 
for things working out. They have no answer for that, okay? And there's answers that we can get into or questions that the world has that they can't really define an answer to. But when you get to the bottom of it, God's love is still constant, no matter how doubters want to go about it. And the point that we made a few weeks ago, talking about Paul, talking about the disciples, was Jesus just a lie? That's the question, okay? Was Jesus the man? Was he just a lie on this earth? Did everything that he teach and stand for a lie? Well, if it's so, if it was a lie, okay, why did Paul go to the death for it? Why did the apostles go to the death for it? They all preached and taught uh, the love of Christ. That's what they taught, was the love of that God had for each and every individual, no matter Jew or Gentile or you know what race that you came from, they preached God's love and they all died for it. So where's the logic in that? People can't explain God's love in that uh, expanse. So the question is, okay, does God love you? And the answer is yes, no matter your situation, no matter your troubles, no matter no matter if people, everybody around you leaves you, God still loves you and I. And we find his promise throughout the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament. Um, and we can see it in the life of Christians and how they lived and how they died for it. So God's love is something that the world cannot explain to you. Your friends or people that don't have never experienced God's love cannot explain God's love to you. Okay, uh, You can't understand it. I can't understand it. I can't ever fully explain it. But just know that God loves you no matter what. And that is the whole motivation of the Bible. That's the whole teaching of the Bible is about God's love and how we can trust in it. So that's my two things. I just wanted to share that with you. So gave you a little resource. Hey, if you would like one of these, let me know. Okay, I can get you one. Uh, my utmost for his highest. Uh, it is a great resource. That's where the thoughts came from today. Okay, so out of the wreck. I rise every time. That's how Oswald Chambers ended this up with, out of the wreck, I rise every time. So no matter where we are, we can always fall back on God's love. All right? So I'm done. That's all I have. Uh, I do check out check out the end of this video. I've got you 10 questions. First 10, or first, not the first 10, uh, maybe the first one that sends this to me back with the correct answers. Now, some of you real quick on the answers uh, last time we did this, but you missed a few things. Some of these are really easy, and I hope you know them. Some of them you might have to look for. But there's 10 questions here. Uh, the first one that gets these back to me answered correctly, uh, I'll get you, hook you up with a gift card. Okay? So, here they are. Hey, before you go, real quick, okay, another challenge for you. Whether you do the Bible trivia or you don't do the Bible trivia, do this challenge. Call, text, comment on somebody's social media. Uh, check in with somebody in the youth group that you hadn't talked to in a while. Shoot them a text. Uh, you know, it could be your mom, your dad, your grandparents, somebody. Do something. Make a, make a small gesture of love because that's how we show God's love. Uh, so do that. Challenge two, do something. Reach out to somebody. Text somebody. Call somebody. Go see somebody. Make a loving gesture. All right? That's all I got. Till next time. See you.